Hello everybody, uh, this is going to be a quick and simple non-technical video, an explanation on how to set up the uh, BIOS of an NCC 220 or a QDOS amplifier module from Avondale. I've got a lot of requests um, or a lot of conversations I've had uh, with various people can I do this myself um, yes you can it's not that difficult uh, this amplifier module is a straight swap out uh, for a NAP name series type or indeed a 200 series an NCC 200 series amplifier module uh, it is literally a pin for pin swap out uh, which I may cover in another video uh, if there's enough interest. Uh, but for now we're just going to cover how to set up the bias and how to check the DC offset. Uh, so if we look at a couple of things, hopefully this will focus. Uh, first of all, we're going to check the bias setting which states in this spec sheet from Avondale Audio for the NCC 200 QDOS series, 220 QDOS series, we're looking to obtain 120 milliamps over a 20 minute period, a steady state. And we're also looking to achieve better than 50 or less than 50 millivolts steady state DC offset at the speaker terminals. So, th so I said this is, isn't going to be a technical uh, video what in any way shape or form it is just this is how you do it can I do it yes you can. So we'll go straight into a, a slight I said it's non-technical but I'll, I'll give you a little bit of insight what we're looking to do is to disconnect this live line here, bearing in mind there is nothing connected to the speaker terminals or the input RCA here. It's completely unconnected. And we're going to connect a meter in series to the power amp module itself here. So for us to um, implement this setting up of the bias and checking the DC offset, we need a, a meter, a multimeter, one capable of reading milliamps and millivolts, volts DC. Most meters today have that functionality. Uh, these are very old fluke ones, maybe 20 odd years, very good. Um, so, but that's what you need. You also need a screwdriver. We need a set of leads, which normally came, come with the meter. You could splash out and buy a twiddler, these uh, trim pot twiddlers, uh, plastic with a little screwdriver in the end for locating which we'll see, see later. Um, but what we intend to do is, as mentioned in the introduction, I want to set up the bias current on this NCC220 two, or QDOS amplifier module. Um, and what we're going to do is put this meter in series and we're going to adjust this pot here across here so that we read the 120 milliamps. So let's move a bit of lighting about. So what we're going to do is connect our meter in series with the positive route of this power amp module. 
So this is a positive rail. We've got a plus here. We've got a zero volts, negative volts, zero volts here, this end of the board. And we have the positive and negative output of the power amplifier to the speakers. And here we have the input signal, soldered signal and screen. Uh, to do this you might need some requisite soldering skills but we're not going into that at this stage that will be for another video this is just this is how we set up the bias so first of all we need to set up our meter so that we can read the bias current that's flowing through this circuit or through, through this power amp module so i've moved to milliamps dc as we can see there we can disconnect in series, we're going to put this meter, we disconnect this supply line to the power amp module and we connect our positive lead to the power rail and the negative from the meter goes on our negative rail, negative pin spade, whichever you like to call it, of the power amp module. So I'm going to connect, it's powered up, you'll see this rise and we're looking to achieve 120 milliamps over a 20 minute period. So we'll patiently wait, I'll be back. So after 10-15 minutes uh, we can see it's we've got a nice steady state about 105 milliamps uh, and as we saw we're asking this is asking for 120 milliamps and the way we can increase that is by turning this blue trim pot you can use a fancy twiddler or you can use a screwdriver i'll use a screwdriver and I think it's clockwise, yes, we're away, and we turn this clockwise until we get to 120. And we leave it there to settle down for another 20 minutes. So we'll be back again in 20 minutes and see, see what we do then. So after 20 minutes, warming up, we're going to readjust this. As, this, as these output devices warm up and the whole amplifier case warms up, the bias drops down a bit initially. So you just got to give it a little tweak back up to 120. Gently, gently. So we're at 120. Happy with that. Everything's nice. See that's uh, 35 degrees at the output transistors. These are the output transistors, 35 degrees. That heat dissipates through the chassis and through the case when the case is bolted down to it, and that's your heat sink, the case and effect. So that's nice and steady at 120. That's that element of the works finished or the setup finished we're now going to go into testing can't adjust it but we're going to test the dc offset so we're just going to power off and we'll watch this decay away to nothing takes a little while and whilst we're watching that there may be uh, future videos if i have enough interest in this um, as I said non-technical it's just this is how it's done I won't go into the whys and wherefores it's, that's not what this is about um, but we have um, some minicap 6's uh, we can show you how to build those for instance um, moving on there may be a point where we can put some um, Avondale 
regulators in high cap replacing the TO3 type regulator with Les's regulator, Avondale regulator and we may even uh, go as far as populating and building one of these. This this would be over a few videos. Uh, this is the NCC 300 superb amplifier module uh, and we'll, it's something we're considering. But please leave your comments below. Um, I don't mind ridicule or criticism. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Uh, it's, this is just a basic, this is how it's done. Anyway, we've lost all our juice here. There's no power in the amplifier whatsoever. And we're now going to go on and check the DC offset. So to check the DC offset, um, we have to do a couple of things, obviously, to facilitate that. One of the first things is it's been powered down, as we've seen, no voltage. Uh, is to disconnect the meter from the in series with this power module we have to reset our meter so that it can read millivolts we go into the 300 millivolt range or millivolts and we just connect our meter leads across the speaker terminals everything safe fingers out the way power it up and we'll watch this we're looking for better than either way positive or negative it doesn't matter uh, plus or minus whichever way 50 millivolts so we'll let it settle down I think this ends up at about 24 something like that after a period takes 10 minutes or so to settle down uh, but it's as simple as that not difficult whatsoever the, I think the hardest part is getting the case especially the name um, nap series to get the case off uh, but maybe that's something we can cover in a different video at a different time but we'll see uh, that's it for now I hope uh, it was informative it might help some people it might not uh, please leave your comments um, so that's it for now this is Laverda the implementer signing off and maybe we'll do some more. Goodbye for now. Keep well. Bye.